What's the crack lads? Welcome back to our legendary Brazil training guides. Today we're going to be taking a look at Roberto Carlos, episode 3 of this series. And obviously you will get these players for free. You'll get some of these players for free with the login carnival bonus uh, campaign that they're doing at the moment, right? So we've already covered in episode 1, Zico, depending on what like way I upload these or what... Um, what like I'm not going to put them in like episode one two three it's literally just going to be standalone ones but this is the third one that we've done and we are going to be doing Roberto Carlos now I think Carlos is my favorite player on this um we did look at Zico in the first one and Romario in the second one Romario has standard form Zico has unwavering and Carlos has unwavering I think it does make a difference to his card especially because if you are using a legend and you're going to be spending a lot of time investing into the legend to know how he plays and how he works and to be dependable, you need to have a player that's going to be playing for you, you know, more often than not. So Carlos is a brilliant player. He's got 11 stats, uh, upgrades, 11 levels to go. He's got knuckle shot, long range curler, rising shot, long range shooting. But he's also got pinpoint cross and low lofted, po low lofted, pass, low lofted pass and outside curler. So he does have early cross or speeding bullet and he doesn't have early crosser. So you're not going to be spinning the ball in too much with him. It's more going to be a very direct play Carlos like he actually played in real life. I think his AI and his ID is very, very good in the game, especially when you're not controlling him, when he makes bombarding runs. Just make sure to keep defensive on him um, in your player skills or your player instructions in the game. Um, in your match plan. You know, I've covered that in videos before of how to set your team up right. So when we actually go over and look at his card here, there's not a lot we need to do to train up this card. We do have 20 progression points to go. We're going to keep the team play style as out wide. As usual, if you're playing quick counter, um, I would say that a quick counter and out wide are the only styles that suit Carlos. There's no point pumping in, you know, four or five into possession game to bring it up to scratch because there isn't enough progression points to go around, right? So, bearing in mind that we're going to keep the out wide team play style, which is perfect, we're going to focus on two areas, and that's going to be speed and defense. Everything else is fairly decent. We don't need to worry too much about it. If we want an attack-based um, left back, right, we don't want to focus too much on defense at all, right? We just want to literally just turn him into an absolute machine. I would put four into this, four into this, four into this, four into this, and then I would probably put one more into that each and that would be it that would be my players you've got 94 speed 91 acceleration balance stamina tight possession ball control all good that is for an offensive base Roberto Carlos that's really going to be playing as a wing back so if you're playing a 3-5-2 you will not get a better left back than that maybe Davies is is a monster if you're going on the attacking route with the speed the power um you could also play Cancelo if you got his left back version which can play there I know that he can play left back as well there are some good left backs there that you can get for similar stats but I think that Carlos in my opinion is the best because you can shoot with him he's good on the free kicks you have that option that you're just able to go for endless energy now if you are going to turn him into a more all-round complete defender and complete player i think having the passing just leave the passing as it is man if you want to upgrade at one you can for the lofted passes but i don't think that you really need to obviously his dribbling is going to be important but as a left back it's not going to be as important as it needs to be there so i would say that once you have your ball control over 80 dribbling and tight possession over 75 and 80 um i'd be happy with that and then the rest of it i'm just going to focus on making him very balanced so instead of popping five or five into there I think 93 speed with 90 acceleration is more than enough. And then I'm going to pop the rest onto defense. What we're aiming for here, lads, we can even go away with this. Um, we can even go one more on defense. What we're aiming for with our defensive Carlos is to get his defensive awareness over his offensive awareness while also having 90 acceleration and also have the tackling and aggression 75 and 80. That's kind of where we want to go with Carlos. So that is my recommended build for Carlos if you want a defensive build and the first part of the video was for an offensive build so let me know I think Carlos is an absolute monster let me know what you guys think I'll be back later with another episode of this and let me know any feedback that you guys have until next time don't forget to subscribe peace